I'm glad you could join me again. I am going to show you what I'm good why I'm doing this week and I plan on doing every week that I have a busy week which is just about every week of my life because I have multiple sclerosis and I'm a disabled veteran and I tend to have a lot of medical appointments. I have to go to New Orleans. I live in a very rural area in the marsh of Louisiana. An hour from New and two hours from New Orleans and an hour from Homa and Thibodeau. And um Homa is where my local VA clinic is and um Homa and Thibodeau and New Orleans are where medical doctors are that we can go to. And the major VA clinic is in New Orleans. So, <clears throat> and I get all of my medical care through the VA because I am 60% service connected. Anyway, what I was saying is what I do in, when I'm going and I have to wait for appointments, because it's not only appointments for me, sometimes there are appointments for other people, uh, and I have to do things for other people. I like to bring cards with uh, things stamped on them and to color. And this week I decided to bring watercolor cards. You see, I have this big old gallon envelope of watercolor cards. I think they're Strathmore watercolor cards. They're very creamy in color. Because, see, this is white and this, so it's creamy. Uh, but they're really lovely. They're 100 and 40 pound cold press so they got that texture to them they're not smooth and I went through and I got uh, my paper artsy stamps with all the different flowers and such uh, yesterday morning before I had to go to an appointment and I put them on my large Misty and with archival ink I sent them because since it's watercolor paper I decided to use water media and then I made a little bag to take with me and I have a backpack that can hold in this little front thing my little and, and this I put together in less than 10 minutes. Really, I was just like, uh, let me do this. Because I I'm, I'm made bacon for my daughter, because she loves bacon. She's going to be 12 next Tuesday. And she's growing. She grew a foot last year, I think. Anyway, it's all cheese and meat and sometimes vegetables. She's making bones and muscle. Anyway. Here we have this, and here I have my Zig Clean Color Wheel Brush Watercolor Markers. Oh, which reminds me, I need to grab a couple of these watercolor pens with water in them. This one doesn't have water in it. Uh, it has water in it. Put in here. Uh huh. That's right. Uh, I grabbed some tins of my distress inks. I grabbed the blues, the greens, and the browns. And the reasons why I grabbed the blues, the greens, and the browns, and not the reds and the oranges, is because. For my flower, for for the backgrounds of the cards, and I'll show you, because I was able so far in one appointment while I was waiting on my daughter. Oh, and then I grabbed 
this old <laughs> when I was cleaning let me see I was working on stuff when I was cleaning off my cabinet my things I used to use these in college these plastic binders with legal tablets in them and this is what I would take notes on in college on the desks I used them in every class I wouldn't use any other notebooks. And if I had papers, I'd shove them in here. This is this was my thing. So, and then if I had anything to write, I needed to write on, and it's soft, it's great. So, these are the cards that I stamped. I grabbed it, an extra large envelope. So I stamped this one and this one. This is gonna be for Pink Flamingo Friday this one and this one to work on this week and then this week on Tuesday because today is Wednesday this was yesterday oh god yesterday was such a long day oh my goodness let me tell you I did this one I started initially doing the oranges in the center and then the green here. And I thought, Lee, what the heck are you doing? Why aren't you doing the background first? So then I did the background. I started in the bottom with the brown. And then I did greens to blues to this, all the way to the top. And then I filled in the flowers with the colors that I wanted with my zigs. And then green in here see I made a little mistake right there but that's okay because I can take a little watercolor later and fix that but you can't really see it I you wouldn't even notice if I would have shown you huh but now for this one it's I gotta just stamp a sentiment and stamp another sentiment and a sentiment on the inside and another little thing on and, and you see it's done voila I got a card <sighs> working away from home How's that? How's that for being thrifty and, well, working away from home? And instead of just sitting there piddling on my phone um, and doing Pokemon Go or something other such nonsense and not being productive. So, uh, there you go. I suggest you put together a little pack on your own. It's a great idea. You can do something crafty while waiting. Color. Coloring is very good de-stress work. And uh, you have a fabulous day. Thanks for making the VA with me. Come see me again soon. I'd love to see you. And give me a thumbs up for my videos. And yay! Subscribe to my channel!